Bang, bang. Ah, jeez, Mick, what are you doing here? If there is anyone who understands the journey you're on, it's good old Mick and all his faces. I'm like your fairy godfather. My fairy godfather? You got that right. I've done everything there is to do in WWE. Dude Love was a superstar. Mankind was a monster. And Cactus Jack was the most brutal man walking this green earth. Believe me, I know. You're one of my heroes. Great! I'm here to trip the light fantastic down memory lane and give you the opportunity to try something unique via mix special pixie dust. If your game, that is. Sound exciting? Definitely pops me. Just like you popped your little buddy Psycho Sally in the face, man, that was brutality. I actually feel kind of bad about that. That's what separates the brutal from the boring, Cap. The only feeling Cactus ever had was wanting to taste his own blood pouring down his own face. We're a little more PG nowadays, so... When Cactus went out there and had a street fight with Triple H, there was no guilt, no fear, nothing but the cold, dead eyes of the man from Truth or Consequences. Damn, yeah, that was good. Great. Now that you brought the brutality, you think you have that kind of fight in you? To take on Triple H? You leave Triple H to Jack. He's mine. But if you deigned to let me stand by your side back then, I'd sure want you taking care of his partner in crime, even if she's also authority. Would you be down to bring brutality to anyone? You saw what I did to everyone in my path. I have the brutality to grind anyone down. Then I've got just the match for you. Hold on to your hat, because if you think you know brutality, just you wait. Bang, bang! Picture this, Monday Night Raw, early 2000s. You're going up against one of the biggest villains in WWE history from a family of villains that make Genghis Khan look like Mother Teresa. You know what to do. Pull no punches, bar no holes, and if you want to do like old Cactus Jack would do, make good use of every tool at your disposal. Bang, bang!
You're certainly making waves around here. You've made some waves yourself, in WWE and outside too. I try to keep busy. How do you manage it all? TV shows, movies, red carpet appearances, all on top of being a WWE superstar? You're making it sound much more glamorous than it is. It's a lot of hard work, a lot of hustle that no one ever sees or jobs that lead to dead ends. And with my schedule, I don't always manage it all. You don't? I gotta say no to a lot of stuff. For instance, they wanted to book me on this food web series and I can't do it because I already committed to a movie premiere on the same night. <sighs> that sounds overwhelming, to have to juggle everything. <laughs> yeah. Hey, if you're interested in expanding your reach into Hollywood, would you want to do the web series? It's a pretty small show, so I doubt it'll be your big break by any means, but it could be a good learning experience. Just try not to let it explode like your experience on the bump. If they'll have me, I'll definitely do it. What's the gig? You've heard of Cheese Please, the internet cheese smelling show. It's doing okay on social media. Hope you like smelling things. Weird, but okay. <laughs> yeah, I know. So a special thanks for taking this off my plate. Makes it easier to suggest you than just saying no. And a good luck in your match with Zia Lee that's coming up. Don't go stinking up the joint. I don't get it. The captain's been all over the internet because of a cheese-smelling show? You're talking about cheese, please. Love that show, and Cap was great on it. Her observations about Gruyere pairings were actually quite astute. Oh, this is cheesy, even for you two. She had it scouted. Put into the corner now. Corner, and a couple back elbows to follow. Watch this. Springboard misses the target. What a forearm. Oh, wrist clutch. Into an arm breaker. Nasty. Continually punishing man. Trying to fight with a hurt arm is no easy task. Oh, my. Oh, using the knee. She's taking some big hits here. She still has a lot of time to recover, though. Into a knee. She's going up. Top rope here. Uh-uh. No way. Shooting star press. A thing of beauty. Oh, ouch. Oh, my God. And that failed to hit the mark. No. Slide up to the floor. What a splash. That's playing fast and loose with your own body. That is weaponizing your body. That's what that was. Back in the ring now. And Lee wants more from her opponent. Just launched. It couldn't have felt good being chucked around like that. Skull. And Zaya Lee is really falling behind. Yeah, Lee needs to figure things out. Zaya gets her back. And that might be the start of the momentum swing Zaya needed. Yeah, Zaya's survival instincts taking over there. Strong hit. My goodness. What a right hand and a somersault up prettier. You can sense what her intentions are here. Reversal. Can they go on the attack? Ooh. Look at this. Boom. Nice. She's pumping herself up, reaching out for that burst of energy. She was clearly waiting for that. And attacking above the shoulders has become the strategy here. Flash for the win. Two. And that's all 
she wrote. Here is your winner, the Queen! What an emphatic victory, guys. No contest. She fought like... Well, if it isn't the internet darling, the captain. Not just the internet. I feel like everyone is talking about her these days. She's got some serious buzz. But all the extra attention means more scrutiny. She's going to want to get a big win tonight. Close fist connects. What a headbutt. Vicious. Heads out of the ring, but needs to be mindful of the referee's count here. Hawk kick! Hope you boys put your running shoes on. It might be time to clear out. Hoist it up. So Plenty of hits coming her way now. Yeah, but too soon to be worried. And a sound powerbomb! Thunderous impact. Boom! Oh, yeah, she is really getting fired up. Getting back into the ring. What's she waiting for? She's looking more focused on gesturing rather than winning. This match is coming down to the last second. Someone's got to get back to the ring now. Jake. Oof. She is not amused in the slightest. Was definitely not thinking about finesse with that one. Was only thinking about dominance. Just whiplash impact right to the head on that one. Into a powerbomb. An unyielding showing of authority. No two ways about it. That was nasty. Jane has no control here. Yeah, JC's being completely neutralized. Down with a powerbomb. You have to question what kind of malintent is behind a powerbomb with that much force. Oh. Into a knee. Oh my God! Springboard moonsault! Wow! Oh, what a right hand and then a wow somersault on Britier. Is it enough? The cover two. It's over. All in a night's nice work. Here is your winner. The. And J.C. Jane goes down with the loss. I know you're just here to train, but 
I gotta ask, what was that about? What are you talking about? Your last match? Seemed like some pretty excessive showboating. Not as concerning as when you went all bad guy on Psycho Sally, but still, doesn't seem like you. That would be Alfie's doing. This agent who saw the web series and wants to represent me. I told him I'd try a couple things for him in the match so he could try to get me some jobs in Hollywood. <laughs> the web series? You mean that cheese smelling thing you did? Oh, you want me to believe someone saw that and thought you had some sort of potential? Hey, I was great. Sure. What's the vibe on this guy? Does he seem legit, or are we talking cheap-looking suits and rental cars? I've actually never met him in person. Wow. Ugh, you're killing me here. And definitely getting catfished. <sighs> Honestly, you may be right. I've had my suspicions about the guy. But so far, no harm done. I'm focusing on my matches regardless, not some probably fake internet poser. That's why I'm here, right? Training for my match? Just be careful. When whoever it is reveals themselves, I don't want you to get hurt. Don't send him any money. Of course not. Good. Unless his family is in trouble or something and just needs a loan so his aunt can get surgery. Come on. The captain is one of the brightest stars in the company right now. I heard she's generating serious Hollywood attention as of late. The cat needs to make sure not to let all this hype get to her head or she'll quickly find herself on the wrong end of this match. Oh. Into a knee. No way. That was one of those power bombs that would shorten someone's career. Watch this setup. Very unique offense. Oh my goodness! Hoisted up. What are we gonna see here? Oh my goodness! Samoan driver. Tegan Knox has lost any momentum here. Yeah, but Tegan can't allow this burst to hinder her. And now there's an opening. Oh, watch this display of power. And a well-executed move we just saw there. You have to be in peak physical condition to pull off a move with that much weight behind it. Ooh. Placed in the corner. Thankfully, it looks like Cap has abandoned the theatrics of her last match. She's getting down to business with Tegan Knox. Making use of her advantage to climb the ropes. She's ready to finish this. Wait, is that a fan who just hopped the barricade? Looks like that man has some sort of business, but he can't just interrupt the match. Where's security? And that tackle was a fortuitous turn for Tegan Knox. She's taking advantage of the distraction. And that's the match. Whoever that man was, he certainly didn't do Cap any favors here tonight. We got to get better security. <laughs> Sorry, Alfie Juniper. You're the flesh here. I know who you are, Alfie. Though I am shocked to see you exist. But what were you thinking interrupting my match? And that security guard almost put you in a local medical facility. Look, nothing I haven't encountered before. I realized that the director might need to do another take, but I just couldn't help it. Another take? That's not how this works. That's not how any of this works. What couldn't you help? I told you, I was on the verge of an incredible opportunity! Although, 
I may have misspoken a bit. Why am I not surprised? I was on the verge of two incredible opportunities. And they both came through! <laughs> How would you like to be in a major motion picture? By any chance, is your friend shooting this in a garage? Not at all. I have two offers for you, co-starring with two top stars. I don't know. Uh, maybe you heard of them. John Cena and Dave Bautista? I think they both spent some time in WWE, if I'm not mistaken. You're kidding. Nope. You're not kidding. Like I said, I made some calls and used my connections. Trouble is, they both shoot at the same time. So I need your gut reaction. Would you rather star in a blockbuster action movie with Cena, or a quirky indie picture that's destined for award season success with Batista? I want to co-star with Batista. I love the fashionable outfits and Dutch angles of an indie film. Perfect! I think there will be a strong hat component to your wardrobe, too. So you'll dig it. I'll let the casting director know you're in. I'll talk to your people around here, too. I'm sure when I give them my juniper charm, they won't mind you taking some time off to film. Alfie, thank you. Gotta admit, I doubted you. But you really came through. Honestly? I mean, most people doubt me. It's what allows me to be sneaky. Like a ninja. Coming back from break, first team to the set. Well, this is certainly new for you. I guess Batista money goes a long way. I'm hardly there. Yet. Let's just say I've done a bit of upgrading all around. I wasn't aware the film came out yet. No, but there's been a lot of confidence in the suspicious sandwich based on the dailies. Well, in any case, we're glad to have you back in action tonight. Perfect. And I've made some minor edits to my entrance for my surprise return as well. You know, made it more bespoke to me. I'm excited to be back and bring some A-list buzz to Raw. A-list buzz. Very well. There is so much buzz over Cap's role in her upcoming movie. All oh, my Hollywood friends are raving about it right now. Since when do you have Hollywood friends? Now, Miz doesn't count. Nonetheless, WWE and Raw is lucky to have the Cap back. Power! Evading offense. Elbow puts an end to that. Nothing fancy here, just raw power. Just a perfect mix of pure power and bad intentions. She's forced onto the defensive now. She can withstand the punishment, though. Into a power bomb. No muscle. 
fuss, no fuss on that delivery. Someone clearly doesn't want this match to go on much longer than it has to. Unbelievable athleticism. Showing off the quickness. That'll turn things around in a hurry. Springboard. Oh, God. And now that terrible error makes this a critical moment in the match. Powerball. That move had the amount of force akin to a natural disaster. Ooh, pinpointing the trachea. Ugh, gets put into the barricade. Get a big boot. Springboard. Oh, just completely off target there. Brash decision making there proved to be extremely detrimental. Can you recover from such an error? You have to wonder. Goes under the ropes to get back inside. Springboardy. Springboard DDT! Taking this match off the mat now. Watch out. Nobody home for that one. No! Oh, ah, stop in the leg. Just nasty. Gets clobbered with the axe handle. Ah, oh, jeez. Oh, what a right hand in that wall. Somersault on Brittier. Oh, man. Stark with some agility. Boom on the jaw. She can't take much more of this. This has just been an cinched in. Stop it, driver. That's it. Stark is out. There's two. And she's still in the game. It was almost all for her. It does not get much closer to three than that. From the top, big splash. Looking for the victory. Two count. And this one is over. Here is your winner, the Queen. Good evening, and welcome to Captive Audience with the best host in WWE and all of Hollywood, me! Ever since I returned to WWE from filming my starring role opposite Dave Batista in the indie film The Suspicious Sandwich, I've known that I have a special responsibility to share the biggest news and mostest personalities with the whole of the WWE universe in ways that only I can. <laughs> Strap in, it's gonna be a wild ride. <laughs> Stay with me after the break where we'll be talking with the Dark Horse Universal Champion about his meteoric rise and grilling the finest of meats with Otis. Oh yeah!
Who's the best agent in the world? If the answer is anyone but you, it's gonna be really awkward. It is me! I've got two words for you. Trish. Stratus. And now I got six more. Is going to be on captive. Wait, sorry, miscounted. One more. Audience, how amazing is that? That is totally amazing. I can't believe a WWE legend is gonna do my show. Is she a WWE legend too? That must be why she was so eager to come on. I just know you can barely turn on a TV in Canada without seeing her on it. She's basically a screensaver at this point. Well, however it happened, you did good. Thanks, Alfie. No problem. She's all set for next week. And all you have to do is fill in for Trish in a match against someone named Charlotte Flair and win. <laughs> oh, is that all? Look, Trish has got the flu, but still wants to ensure Charlotte loses. You've got a show, but need a guest. And I'm an agent who knows how to put both of those things together. So what do you say? Should I drop the contracts? Like I could say no to Trish Stratus on Captive Audience. You go iron out the details. I'll go flatten Charlotte Flair. Love it! Break a leg! Not literally. Try to stay in one piece, especially your face. But go get him. Up until an hour ago, everybody in the arena was expected to see Trish Stratus, including Charlotte Flair. Charlotte's got to be annoyed she had so little time to prepare for Cap. She gets to face an indie vet instead of a Hall of Famer? Sounds like Charlotte's already won. A uh, pump handle here. As much grit as it takes to hit a pile driver, we cannot forget how much fighting spirit it takes to keep going after taking one. Will we see that spirit to fight back? Oh, impressive counter. Oof, that knee knocking the wind out of him. Getting tossed by the Hurricane Rana. Just a continuous rush on Charlotte here. Charlotte trying to withstand this surge. Supernatural Ooh. power. No other way to say it, guys. That looked like it hurt a lot. Off the shoulders into a sit-out axe driver. Springboard shooting star press. That was coming in hot at breakneck speed. Going fast and living. No, no, no. Slide out to the floor. What a splash. That is reckless abandon being shown. And paying off as well. Boom. That kick will stop me in your tracks. And now she delivers her back into the ring. What a right hand. And that wow. Somersault on Gridium. See a kick out there. Cinched in. Snap man driver. Is that what it takes to beat Charlotte? Two. Oh, kicks out. Kicks out. We should have known better than to think the queen was going to bow out there. Was not able to seal the deal with her best move. Now she's asking, what more can I do? From the top. Big splash. That's got to be it. Two counts. Here is your winner, the Queen! Yeah, 
Hey, so, um, yeah, everything good? Yeah, what's going on? Where's Trish? Who? Oh, Trish Stratus, yeah. I'm sure it's fine, but she is not here. What do you mean she's not here? We've got a show to do. Where is she? I'm working on that now. Left a few messages. She's kind of ghosting me. Although, Natalia was here, and she had my phone for a bit, so maybe she saw a text. I could reach out to her. I don't really want to. She's trying to convince me to get some of her rescue cats on the show, and I was trying to explain that it really isn't that kind of show, but she could be really intense, and I, I just... It's just... Uh. Alfie, focus. Figure out what's going on and get back to me. I can reach out too if you need. In the meantime, apparently I've got a few extra hours to get ready for Piper Niven tonight. So I'm gonna take advantage. So it's a blessing! <laughs> this is a good thing! No. But I'm gonna take lemons and make lemonade. And you're gonna figure out why I'm sucking on so many lemons right now. On it. I'll let you know if I get any messages. The bell rings, and you have to admit she's like a bull seeing red. All business, no frills. Once she sets her sights on an opponent, she's on them until she gets the W. Definitely not the type of competitor you want to take lightly. Yeah, but she's facing one of the most powerful opponents the WWE has to offer. Piper Niven. Scary power and a mean... That's Trish Stratus' music. Looks like we've got a legend in the building. Up and... Scoops their opponent up, uh-oh! Look out! Spiked with a Michinoku driver! Piper got all of it! Cover! Great officiating, as the rep noticed she was on the ropes. Jumping elbow drop. Headbutt to the back of the neck. What a chancery. There's a lot of hard ways to land, but that might be the hardest. Enable the counter. Into the DDT. Oh, man. Right to the arm. Piper extends your elbow. Jumps the elbow. She just rocked Piper there, managing to shake the powerhouse. Just going all out with every blow. Brutality. Grabs the leg. Oh, nothing fancy there. And Piper is failing to offer any resistance here. And Niven has to pull a trick from her sleeve. Oh, man, right to the arm. Piper extends your elbow. What a right hand and then a wow, somersault on Brittier. That's gotta be it. There's two. No, kick out of two. She just dug down deep there, but I don't know if she'll be able to do it again. Great thinking from Piper. Utilizing the top rope to inflict more punishment. Draped over the top rope. Oh, yeah. She is really getting fired up. Oh, my gosh. With one hand. Ooh, what a forearm club. She's enduring some damage. That's the kind of physicality we can expect from Piper. Big boot. Vicious. If this works, it could change the course of the match. From way up. Oh, she misses the mark. Just a ruthless streak for the world to see. Despicable. That was simply a despicable display we just saw. Hoisted high up across the shoulders into a sit-out axe driver. 
And now she's looking to go top rope. From the top, a huge splash. Cover. Two. And that'll do it. It's finally over. Here is your winner, the Queen. What the heck was that about? Any ideas what's going on with Trish? No, but we need to back burner the whole Trish sitch for a minute. <laughs> back burner? The whole somehow I've wronged WWE superstar and Canada's sweetheart Trish Stratus and don't know why thing? She ghosted my show, then convinced someone to distract me with her music, Alfie. Uh huh, because we've got another problem. Don't worry, I'm already on it, but. The set for captive audience, it's gone. What do you mean, it's gone? Just that it was here, and now it's not here. The whole set? So we didn't have a show today because we didn't have Trish Stratus. And now we don't have a show ever because we don't have a set. Basically, the audience might have been captive, but the set sure wasn't. Sorry. Too soon. I knew it was as soon as I said it. But yeah, WWE is not super keen to pony up a bunch more dough for a set that we can't keep track of. Their words. But angrier when they said it. Great. We'll figure it out. I'll see who knows what. There's gotta be someone who saw something. We are seeing a mystery play out live on television here as Cap wants to make Natalya reveal who stole the set of her talk show. It's a real Agatha Christie, Michael. Who could have done such a terrible thing? The rumor mill saying that Trish Stratus is a prime suspect. Would not surprise me a bit. Who wouldn't be jealous of Cap? She's not a superstar. She's a supernova. Left by the turnbuckles. Got her where she wants... With a head trap, both legs hooked. We know what's coming next. Muscle Buster. Uh-oh. That one's scouted. Oh, no. She could be caught here. Bad situation for her. Oh, there it is. The abdominal stretch. Grabbing the ankle for extra torque. Ooh. She's fighting desperately. Hip tosses her way out of the hole. Watch this display of power. Sit up, Powerbomb. Don't do it. Oh, unbelievable athleticism. Just going for it all and landing a direct hit. Right to the kidneys from behind. Momentum is clearly against Natalya now. Natalya needs to find an opening fast. I felt the vibration of that one from all the way over here. Just continuing to dismantle their opponent. Uh-uh. No way. Look out below. From ring post to ring side, risking it all paid off. Brought back into the ring from the floor now. From the top, a huge splash. Takes another trip to the skies, and it pays off once again. Man, knee strike. She's lost some of that energy she had earlier. Not a bad place to be in, but the longer this goes, the more trouble a superstar exposes himself to. She now has gotten herself into a distressing spot. Yeah, the faults in her game plan are being laid bare. Somerset! What a 
is over. Here is your winner, the Queen! I've been on the phone all day. I've narrowed things down to about five or 36 suspects. It was Trish Stratus. 37 suspects. You sure it was her? I don't know why, but her behavior has made it clear that she has something against me. When I catch up to her, I'll ask. In between punches. She's out in LA opening a yoga studio and doing a charity match. Sneaky thief! She's got the public totally fooled. Then I've got a plane to catch. Wherever she's doing that match, get me on that card. Bump her scheduled opponent. Pull any strings you have to. Consider it done! You don't know who might be in charge of that sort of thing and where I could find a number, do you? It's fine. I'll figure it out. So I confronted Trish after the match. She's pretty adamant she didn't steal the set. And you believe her? She was very convincing. Of course, she's also a heck of an actress, so who knows? But she claims that we canceled the appearance on Captive Audience about 30 minutes before she was supposed to come on. That's why she had her music interrupt your match, to remind you not to forget about her. Why would she think we canceled? Probably because she got an email from me saying we were canceling her appearance on the show. 
It's in my sent mail. I didn't send it, though. I think I might have been hacked. It's kind of a rite of passage in Hollywood. So, this is actually pretty exciting for me. <laughs> you got hacked, and all they did was send one email to Trish Stratus. Doesn't seem likely. Did anyone else have access to your phone? Only Natalia when she was putting in her number so I could call her about the cat act. It's kind of funny, though. She kept making mistakes, so it took forever. She's kind of hopeless. Or she was using that time to cancel Trish Stratus and then pointing a finger to keep me from looking at the surveillance tapes. Probably upset about not getting booked on the show. Still, stealing the set? I'm not sure she could have pulled that off by herself. She does have those cats. Doubt they're very good at moving furniture. If they were, they'd definitely get onto the show. That would be some good entertainment. But I'll look into who might have helped Natalia. Thank you, Alfie. Might be good for you to reach out to Trish. I'm not sure what the protocol is in WWE, but in Hollywood, if you fly cross-country to fight someone, then realize the beef wasn't their fault, you usually at least send a text. I think that's pretty much universal. Good idea. Quiet on the set, please. Places, everyone. And action. And we're driving. We're driving. This way. Oh, and this way. And we're looking at it. And we're looking at it. Oh, look at her. And we're running. And we're running. And we're running. And we're running. Creeping in. Creeping in. Creeping. Backing out. Backing out. Back out. And come in for a high five. And now stand back to back. Brilliant! Oh, whoa, 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 whoa! Cut, 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 cut! What's going on here? Trish and Cap hoping to do double duty out here, taking care of Charlotte and Natalia and promoting their new detective show. It's ridiculous. They look like two girls playing dress up in daddy's closet. This is one match where I do not back the blue. Well, someone's ending up black and blue one way or another. Uh-oh, Dragon Sleeper applied. This could be it. Think about all the pain she's in. Showing the world just how much fight she's got left. Plus. 
Suplex. Got their opponent set up. Drop kick to the back. Never saw it coming. And the DDT. Tagged into the action. Take it down to the canvas. Carefully placed stomp to the arm. Natalia in off the tag. A torturous knee. Right in the mouth. Relentless. Oh, enough already. Ooh, what a nasty kick. Insulting. That's going to be a moment you want to forget it very soon. Hoist it up. Samoa Driver. Nice. Oh. Oh, knee right to the face. Oh, what are they going to do? Oh, look at this. Look at this. Power. No way. And an impactful display of offense we just witnessed there. The fatigue is setting in for her. She's reached a critical point in this match, Cole. It's up to her if she wants to play it safe or keep fighting. Lift the power bomb. The power on display right now is ridiculous. The power bomb. This is a very convincing display of power we are seeing in front of our eyes. Sit out, Axe Driver. Natalia failing to offer any resistance here. I don't know if Natalia can withstand this. Into a power bomb. A power bomb's not meant to be pretty, but oh man, does it get the job done? Yeah, I'm pretty sure they don't want to be taking any more of those. Ouch. That was nasty. Both wrists captured and oh, anus knee to the face. What a shot! Ooh. Catches the kick. Dragon screw. Natalia finding the breathing room she needed now. She's trying to fight back in this one. Tag made, she's in. Uh-oh. Power bomb. Crashing down like that, having the wind knocked out of you. Never a good time for that to happen. Hoist it up. What a punch. That's how you stop your opponent. Oh, man. Inverted backbreaker. Ow. Schoolboy pinning combination. Oh, maybe not. But power. Now that's what you call impact. Impressive reversal there. Uh-oh. Just turn that around. Tremendous pressure being applied in this head crank. Might take her head clean off her shoulders. Dribbling the opponent's head like a basketball. And she denies Charlotte. What a right hand and then a wow, somersault on Brittier. She avoids the attack completely. That offense really hitting her hard. These two teams have gone to war, Cole. Of course, they're going to wind up with a few battle scars. And this has got to be it. A kick out of two. What does she have to do to put her away? I'm asking myself the same question. I have no idea. Cinched in. Snap man driver. Charlotte is in trouble. She shoots up the top rope. Dangerous thinking. Big miss right there. Can you believe this? I love it. Into the knee drop. She's holding on tight. Mitsunoku driver. Wow. Stratus able to avoid contact. She lands hard. Oh, knee right to the spine. Looking for a high-risk, high-reward situation. 
From the top, a huge splash. Two. She gets the shoulder up. Getting that shoulder up now is huge. Both wrists captured. And that was nasty. You can't take much more of this. Yeah, not looking good at all. You know, to be the woman, you have to beat the woman. And Charlotte is in danger of losing that moniker right now. She makes the tag. She is unleashed. Springboard shooting star. Throwing all costs into the wind and leaping to the outside. A uh, springboard. Oh, the high risk doesn't pay off. Now, that was a hair-brained idea to try that. Was trying to find a way to attack, but completely wiped out. And gets tossed back into the mat. Oh, we got that suplex. She's getting herself in the zone, but she shouldn't hesitate much longer. Again, this one will continue. Side rush and leg sweep. Driving the face down. Go oh, right to the kidneys. Golly. She's showing signs of slowing now. This is what the purpose of a tag team is. Don't be afraid to use the resources and help your partner offers. Am I being diplomatic enough, Cole? You can see her struggling to find her bearings. Why is she still boasting around? She's in a fight, for goodness sake. Look out! Boom! Like a heat-seeking missile hit the target right on the mark. Run out of ringside and back to the mat. A oh, springboard cutter! Oh! Cinched in. Stop there, Driver! Roll the credits. This one's done. For the win! Oh, catapulting down on the opponent. Flair is falling behind now. Charlotte needs to find a way to reverse her fortunes. Somehow she's still in this matchup. It's unbelievable. Wicked kick to the face. Ooh, jarring right hand. Wow, somersault on Brittian. 